Yes, sir, the hype investors have done it again. Let's go ahead and give them all a round of applause for making the day for investors actually pretty good despite the Rio Major never actually happening. Unfortunately, this hype kind of died out right after, and a lot of these tickers went back to their normal prices, so in reality, a lot of this actually wasn't very permanent, and it still sucks that the Rio Major was cancelled, because now we don't have that on the horizon in order to make some money. This video is mainly going to serve the purpose of kind of explaining hype investing and why you should or shouldn't do it, and also kind of considering some future investment opportunities that are now on the plate now that Rio has actually been cancelled. So, go ahead and strap in, and let's talk about some investing. Also, before we begin, I wanted to apologize for not bringing you guys any content over the past week, I have been grinding in Black Desert Online. Yeah, pretty superficial reason, but trust me, it's worth it if you play the game. Also, yes, I know this is investing content when I said I was going to be switching over to trading content, but this is a pretty major thing that happened, and I did want to make a video on it regardless. I did say I was going to make major investment videos when major investment opportunities happened, so that's why this is here. Regardless, thanks for checking it out, and before we start this video topic, let's go ahead and talk about a sponsor real quick. The sponsor we have for this video is Skinport.com. They have a massive inventory of over 150,000 CSGO items listed on the site. They have great prices, even better than buff in some cases, and they also are going to have a very minimal and easy to use UI that you're going to be able to surf around the sites and buy all of the great deals on. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out Skinport, thank you guys for doing so, just use the link in the description below and that will support my channel directly. So thank you guys and let's get on to this video. Alright guys, so let's talk about hype investing. So hype investing basically occurs when some sort of news or event happens that directly affects the markets and indirectly impacts prices. So basically what happened here was ESL Rio Major was cancelled, which means that there's not going to be any stickers released for ESL. ESL Rio Major, and what that actually did is affect the prices of items to really skyrocket on September 9th when the news broke, and that was mainly just because of hype, because people had now artificial scarcity due to the fact that no new stickers were being released. Hype investing is, as it sounds, pretty risky and very variable, so there's a lot of things that can happen during hype investing that can also affect the prices pretty rapidly, so it is a pretty risky endeavor to take on. If you will go ahead and watch TDM Jesus' videos, you can see that when he talks about certain skins, hype investors go and shoot the market up very rapidly and then it tends to crash down right after that. Hype investing is annoying but my main tip to you would be just to avoid it altogether. That's what I personally do and I kind of just go for more guaranteed returns or safer returns. Obviously nothing is 100% safe but I just tend to try and get as safe of returns as I possibly can when I do investing. So if you guys are going to go ahead and get into investing I would kind of just recommend to completely avoid any hype investing unless it's more of a long-term thing. For example I actually believe that this Rio Major being cancelled was actually a pretty long-term thing, and I think the prices of these older stickers are going to rise steadily over the future as there is no new major coming up, so I actually think buying into these stickers is a good idea despite them dropping down pretty rapidly after their initial hype. The cancellation of new sticker releases and also the artificial scarcity that's been created because of this has basically made all of these old stickers superior goods and the mystical non-released Rio stickers an inferior good, which is going to probably increase the price of these over the coming months. Do keep in mind that if a new event occurs that would increase the amount of major stickers in the pool, there is going to be a sharp decline in prices for older stickers, so make sure that you go ahead and get out before that happens, because obviously people are going to want more scarce of items. Right now though, like I said, I think it is worth getting into some of these stickers, especially the Berlin ones, because those were the most recent ones that have the most sort of buzz around them, which can increase their price pretty steadily, so I would say that go ahead and just basically default to the really solid teams like Astralis and Navi, those ones are going to be the most solid returns over the coming months. The the reason I don't really recommend older stickers such as Cato 15 and Cato 14 is because those ones are pretty much in their own little bubble right now where they can't really be affected by anything on the market in terms of stickers just because they're so old and so scarce and so highly invested that it's kind of just hard to do anything to their price that's going to be affected directly by an event occurring so these are mainly just going to be affected by manipulation like we saw recently. Those stickers are still good choices and are probably more safe than these newer ones but again they aren't really going to be affected by events like this. I think it's it's actually good that I waited about a week to make this video because it showed us what this sort of hype investment can do and how the decline can happen really rapidly after the hype occurs. So I think that actually gave us a pretty good idea here and a pretty solid interpretation of everything. The other nice thing about these Cato and Berlin stickers is that they're pretty dang cheap so if you only want to go in a little bit on these if you feel like there's going to be some sort of event that affects their prices negatively then you can go ahead and go in pretty softly just because they are pretty cheap stickers to begin with. So basically as I sit here and AFK train my horses in Black Desert Online 
design, I could be making a decent amount of solid money on these stickers. In terms of other investment opportunities though, not really related to major stickers, there's actually quite a few that I have. Obviously, we're going to see some pretty big rises with the Deagle Blaze coming up. That skin is in a very good position to pop off very soon, so make sure you're watching that. I have already talked about it pretty extensively though, so if you guys are going to get into it and you want to go ahead and get some more information on it, there is other videos that I've uploaded that do have more information on the Deagle Blaze specifically. Also, speaking of Deagles, there's actually a pretty crazy thing happening right now with the Desert Eagle print stream. It's actually one of the only times this has occurred where this skin actually stays up so high in price and actually rises after declines during the Fracture Cases release. This is actually pretty unprecedented, but I will say these are still going to decline over time and it's not really a solid thing to get into at all. The Desert Eagle print stream is pretty much just being held up by Chinese buyers that think the skin looks really cool, and admittedly it is a really cool skin and I've wanted it in the game for a long time, but I still don't think it's a good investment even though I do love the skin. Although it will be potentially interesting to see if the amount of them being added to the pool of CSGO items is enough to counterbalance the Chinese buyers. So I guess we'll just see what happens. Another interesting thing to note related to the Fracture case is the fact that the new knife releases have actually not really impacted the knife prices very much, and a lot of them have recovered pretty steadily even though they were set to decline after the release of the Fracture case. I think this is actually pretty interesting, and it looks like the Fracture case is just honestly not really being opened as much because there's not really a lot of these skins being added to the general pool of items. I do find this phenomenon pretty odd, but I still think in the long term these items are still going to decline in price just because of the Fracture case obviously making them a lot more available, and I do think the Fracture case is just going to have to be a more long-term decline in prices rather than a shorter term one that usually occurs with other cases. Moving on to talking about some Operation skins, especially the Cedarib Operation skins, a lot of the major investments there have kind of plateaued, which was pretty expected considering how many people are invested into them right now. Now is just kind of a time for these to sort of change hands and sort of get out of those hype investor hands where they're just going to be holding a lot of them, which is actually a pretty good thing, and a lot of these look pretty good for the future, but right now they are going to be pretty solid prices, at least for the time being. So basically the current prices look stale, but the future still looks like a great prospect. In terms of the Shadow Web case itself, the coverts like the Op Containment Breach have actually done pretty solid over the past couple weeks and have risen a little bit, which is a good sign for the future. I think these are going to be really solid going forward, and they're kind of just going to follow the same trend as the Hydra case, as I've said before. So guys, that's your general update on investing right now. I am still going to be moving over to trading content, but I did kind of want to go back and look at the market as it is right now and kind of talk about some of the investments I've talked about, sort of update my opinions on them, and I think this is what the market looks like right now in terms of those major things. I'm going to hopefully get on a pretty solid schedule going forward. I do want to get back on a one video every two day schedule, so we're going to see how that works, and I am going to kind of aim for that. I do have school going on right now, so that is taking up some of my time, but I think I'm going to be able to make it work, so we'll just have to see. I do want to leave you with some recommendations for the rest of 2020 in terms of investing, so I do think that these major stickers, the Cato 19 and Berlin 19, are great choices. It doesn't really matter which ones you pick up too much, but I would say pick up the more hyped up ones, the ones that have a bit more buzz around them, like Navi and Astralis, for example. From Cato 19, obviously that Furia is going to be a really solid option. Furia tends to be very affected and impacted by quantity of the item in existence, because for example, the last time Furia had a massive spike, there was a pretty major event that happened. It was because Furia was about to be knocked out of the Berlin tournament from the qualifiers, so a lot of people thought that they weren't going to have a reiteration of their sticker, which of course increased the price of the Cato 19 one. They did obviously qualify, which did drop the price back down though, but I do think that that is pretty telling of how affected this is by events. So guys, that's what I would recommend. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more trading and investing content in the future, the best on YouTube. Also be sure to go ahead and click that like button to help me out with that stupid YouTube algorithm, and also be sure to leave a comment to, I guess, also help with that YouTube algorithm, and also let me know what you thought of this video. If you want to go ahead and check out my Discord and Twitter for some more investing tips and trading tips, be sure to do so using the links in the description below, and also be sure to check out my skin port link if you want to go ahead and support me directly and buy some pretty sick skins. Anyway guys, thanks for checking out this video, and thanks for taking time out of your day to come spend it with me. See y'all next time. Peace.